Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing okie dokie. I am... Started last stream. On the official, no less, I think. Yeah, on the official. Yesterday. Was it yesterday? I forget. Whenever. Started that shenanigan with um, crafting. I'm starting today's shenanigan with inventory management. Because I need to clear some backspace because we're going to do some stuff. <clears throat> By we, I mean me and Mr. Ponton Finberry. Uh, as soon as I send him a tell and say, hey, Ponton, uh, we're going to do the thing. Thief Kitty would like to let his displeasure be known to you all. Thiefy? Yes? What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm just cleaning up my mess. Uh, and freeing up some space here. So, this is my explorer character. So, I can just throw Skarn in the, the vault here. And be like, get out of my face for a while. Alright. Uh, more scarn and yet more scarn I got a lot of scarn on this character all the scarn and I also have some some mats for other class or other crafters and I think I have 10 slots available in my shared storage <clears throat> so let's fill those 10 slots up shall we One, ah, 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 two. Ah, uh, superior doom for that can go in the pots. Oh, that didn't take a slot. Nice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pick up where I left off uh, on the other stream. And we're going to continue working through the mystery secret stone event now the secret stone has the quest line has been on um, has been sussed out from stem to stern so we're gonna play through it with 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 this um, you know what I forgot to craft on my other oh I was supposed to craft some ham and what I did instead is I crafted just some pie and I forgot to do the other thing well that's unfortunate because I actually need the other thing so we're going to do a little bit of crafting too kids yes we are because I need some more of my 24 month airborne ham hey how are you Where'd you go? I don't know. Oh, don't know where he is. <sighs> so the other thing I did yesterday is I bought myself a new set of headphones. Uh, it's basically like this set, but it's the next, because uh, you can't pretty much can't get these anymore. Uh, but I am working on getting uh, the correct character logged in. Hi, Tolkien Otaku. How are you? Doing that thing. Some random Twitter feed retweeted my go live announcement. Go figure. All right, we're going back to the cook, Ethelrin, because I need him to cook, whip me up some twenty-four month airborne ham. Leafy, where are you? He was here like five seconds ago. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, ha, ha. All right. T for Thomas. Uh, ingredients, trail food. This is what I forgot. Tater stuff, whey bread. What? Uh, no. No. 
So these all sound really tasty. All right, I think the fortifying food. No, oh Kasha. There we go, trail food. Um. <clears throat> So we have like the regular Erebor ham, right? 20 minutes, cool down 30 seconds, 1363 might. But the 24 month Erebor ham gives you more might, last 20 minutes. So they both last the same amount of time, but one gives you 200 more uh, might. <coughs> Let us whip us up some of these and we'll go for a stack of, let's say a stack of 40. Whatevs. Rosie Bug, hello my dear. It's really late where you are. You're staying up late. Which is okay, you can do what you're like, you're an adult. Even if you're more an adult, I'm not your mother. Popped on this year, the love. Can you feel the love tonight? All right. <clears throat> and I see this character is still using my 4K settings. That's nice. I don't care. So I've been waffling between using the 4K settings and using the regular settings. And apparently on the streams, you can't see... Uh, anything in the UI when it's under 4K, which, you know, to be fair, neither can I, because I'm old. Um, <clears throat> so, I, I've been trying to get a working set of instructions for making things work right under both set series of settings. And actually, the thing that's given me the most trouble is travel window. Like, the little briefcase travel window icon... It wants to hide, like, off-screen someplace. Yeah, uh, Rosie, it's 4K resolution. Basically, 4,000 pixels by whatever. Uh, Lotro and its other game, DDO, don't have 4K scaling on the UI. Um, so, basically, 4K would look, if, if they had correct scaling, it would look like this in terms of how big the icons are, not how big the text is, which you can't really see, but it looks so much better. Other than the scaling of the UI, 4K looks amazingly sharp and cool, and, and having to go back to this kind of makes me cringe, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and one thing we did notice is that nobody could read anything on the screen uh, other than the things that you can scale in-game, which are things like the quest text, the chat window text, but uh, all the rest of the UI looks like it's been, you know, uh, fun-sized in the unfun-sized sort of fashion. <clears throat> so today's been a weird day. Uh, I, I stayed up way too late last night watching my friend Devalor, um, one of the WoW community managers. He was streaming some stuff from their, um, from the, the new expansion, WoW Shadowlands. Um, and he and a couple of other people that I'm familiar with, uh, a couple of big time streamers, uh, were just really drunk and it got very weird, but it was funny. So I stayed up watching them. And then I'm finally like, oh, I'm going to bed and it was like six in the morning and I, I don't think I actually got to sleep until sometime after seven. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm going to set my alarm. I'm going to get up by noon just to get up by noon. Yeah, I woke up and then I think I slept till 1230 I woke up with the alarm and then I slept till 1230 and then I couldn't get out of bed for another half hour because my back was killing me and it still is actually and twice I've wandered through the kitchen where the uh, bottle of aspirin or Advil is and twice I've forgotten to take a hit off of that bottle <clears throat> so I just got on this right now I've been uh, watching Clone Wars, finishing off the final season. That's so good. Um, no spoilers, but I, I've been enjoying it. 
I actually had to go watch the previous season because I don't remember actually watching the previous season. I remember seeing like the tail end of they went back and finished a few episodes uh, of the sixth season, of the ones featuring Yoda. <clears throat> but I never actually went back and watched the rest of the season, so it was very weird. So I went and watched the whole thing. And then I went back and then I've been starting the final seventh season. Um, so that's cool. Sleep patterns are all messed up. Yeah, this is true. And I have no responsibilities. I am currently unemployed. So, you know. But I still had to get myself a new headset because this headset is shorting out like really, really badly. So, I'm going to make a new one. In the meantime, I am going to uh, mail stuff to my main. And then I'm going to ping Mr. Finberry and say, hey, Ponton, want to wanna come hang out? Want to... Because um, one of the things we find out that most classes, even this is actually really in, a really interesting thing, most classes cannot solo Dar Nugabud because of game mechanics, which is kind of annoying uh, for those of us who like to go back and run things for like, you know, um, for cosmetic purposes or to, you know, get, you know, a specific drop or whatever. But yeah, one one thing about this game is uh, I, I'm kind of used to the WoW thing where you're on paid leave. Ooh, that must be nice. I haven't seen the Expanse. No. I've heard good things about it. Alright. And while we're here, uh, since we're right next to the guy, I'm going to put these in my mail. I, I don't know why I hang on to these. The anniversary fireworks. It's just a thing I do. All right. What can I do for you? I just like to hang on to them. So my main has like 38 of each stack. And so you get two every time you open one of the boxes. Kind of cool. All right. So, hey, look, we also technically did inventory management on this character too. So that's really cool. All right. Let's go back to the main. We're going to send a ping to Mr. Finberry's alt. Because Ponton, from my understanding, is currently on the same alt that we were running with, the Minstrel, that we were running with the other day. So, looking at the spoiler thread, the event thread, um, run uh, by Morellian, we've already done the, there's four, basically you're going on a quest over certain places to find four stones. Um, and we got the first one completed. That's the one that required the weird, um, the weird necklace from like two years ago. <clears throat> and so we got that one done. So we're working on the second stone. So we went to the, uh, to the emissary. We found the emissary and the emissary told us, Hey, go get these remnants. And the remnants require you to um, take down certain bosses in certain uh, early raids. Uh, the first two remnants come from Dar Nargabud. And you, most classes still can't actually solo that because um, there is a mez that happens. A mesmerize, if you wonder where mez comes from. Um, that you cannot break. Unless somebody in your party kills the person mezzing you. So, there you go. There we go. <gasps> what do I hear? I hear a cat. Do you hear a cat? I hear a cat. Come here, kitty. Now he's wanting to play hard to get. I'm talking to him and not not at him. Well, hi. Meow. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on, you butthead. Meow. Come on. Oh, he's playing hard to get. Alright, <clears throat> so I need to find Ponton's alt. 
Still haven't got there. Only just finished Mordor. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look what I have. He's a kitty. He's a kitty. Even though his ears are back, he's he's not unhappy. He's happy. Listen to that purr. Look at that cat hair all over my microphone. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. He's like, I've got a warm shoulder. Your cat's off on their nightly patrol of the area? Yeah, my cats don't go outside. Uh, my neighborhood is not a safe place for cats. Anyway. Let's go ping Master Finberry's alt. Let's see which alt Ponton is on. Uh, Ponton is actually not logged in right now. What? Ponton! This will go badly. Well, what I can do uh, is I can at least start the instance and then invite Ponton in whenever Ponton rolls in. That'll be fine. All right, let's make sure I've got all the things I need. <clears throat> I think I do. I think I do. All right. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to start Dar Nagabud, and when Ponton rolls in, we'll, we'll get it straightened out. Um, oh, she, she tried to keep her, but she was a stray, so outside it has to... Yeah. Um, my friends who live in San Francisco, the Brevix, uh, they have cats that go outside, and, uh, you know, they can't keep the cats inside, so... I mean, they can try, but the cats don't want to stay inside. Alright. So, let us go do the thing. Uh, Control J is your instant finder. Alright, Dar Nugabud. Um, And this is a non-scaling instance, so it's level. And you can't change size or the tier. You can just invite people in later. So, hopefully this will work out. I don't want to mess up Ponton's uh... Ponton's raid locks. Let's see. I don't see him lurking about. And I'm also a little bit concerned because I said 7 o'clock uh, but I do know Ponton's in central time but he's generally pretty good about that sort of thing and he would presumably have seen the Jutsfire has gone live thing. You know. Alright. Let's do the thing. Let's cause the trouble. What? What are you doing? Oh, come here, Thiefy. Oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! Alright, let's see if this works. The Elves of Lorien have uncovered Dar Nagabund, the lair of the Mistress of Pestilence, the vile creature responsible for the plague spreading among the creatures of Moria. <gasps> what heroes will overthrow the Queen of the Nameless? Who will put an end to her plague? Well, Lareth might have a problem with that. So the last time I rolled through here, uh, I was a 120. 
So this should be a lot easier, quite frankly. Theoretically. Alright. You are bred for battle! That's nice. You're off to bed? Well, have a good night. Oh, I gotta stay get all the stupid here. Do have somewhere in here. Do, 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 do. Where is Where's my hope tokens? That can't be the only hope token I have. There we go. Let's get out of that. Will it now? All right. Hi, guys. Come on. Come on, you. toast I don't even know where that sound is coming from, and it creeps me out. Oh, this is why you clean your bags out!
Of course, it's all bound to your character. <coughs> Hi, kitty. Which makes sense. You can't trade... Apparently, you're not supposed to trade raid loot anyway. What are you doing, kitty cat? Oh, hi. Meow. Hello. I'm busy. In Lotro, mob 70 levels below you can make you take damage. That is true. And also, um... You know, due to certain raid mechanics, you still can't uh, solo certain quests, even if you're at max level. Well, some classes can complete the uh, Mistress quest, because I've done it. I don't remember which alt I did on it. It's probably my Hunter, though. And yes, Thiefy would like to say hello to everybody. Get your ass over here. Oh, fine, I'll just kick this guy. Ah, mezzes. Get your butts over here. Knocked you right on your face. Alright, let's get this crap off of me. Hi, kitty cat. Um, actually, 130s can solo Thorlac, but only certain classes. You need to be able to do uh, ranged damage. And, like, enough ranged damage. Like, a hunter and a mini could do it, but, um, for example, a champion probably can't. Good luck in the nasty place. No kidding. I earned 10 Lojo points! Alright, let's kill the few mees. Let's kill the other few me. Hi, cat. Let's everybody look at DP butt. I'm actually waiting for Pontin because Pontin uh, was going to assist with this. Hi. Meow. We'll see what we can do, though. Because the only two bosses in here that uh, drop remnants that you need to worry about are um, the Mistress and the Blind One.
So I figure if I can clear this up to that point, I can get Ponton in here when he's ready. And, uh... Get them all situated, and we can just take those two down. And my reputation with the Galathrum is increasing. Hi, guys. Do not threaten me, puny ones. And he's the one who fell over. Whatever. I forget where I'm going, but that's okay. Face the wrath of the fumarole! Okay, so here's the blind one. So it's one of the two we need to beat up on. So I'm going to leave him here. <coughs> <coughs> and go beat up on the other boss. New deed. Gonna get some more lodger points. <clears throat> Kicks this these two fumies. Sargoth got swallowed up by the butt! Oh my god! Watch this. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Mithril Flake out of somebody. Not that I need Mithril Flakes for anything, but they're kind of nice. Alright. We can ignore the guys in those rooms. Definitely want to kill the Fumi. Let's just beat up on the big fumy. Pop, pop. 
So how you doing, Sarg? What are you causing trouble with doing? I'm a troll tipper? Ha ha ha! I like that. was fun. I'll wait for all of these to expire. <clears throat> Alright, who do we got? Uh, Flagget. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Flagget is a fun one uh, because you ha actually have to pay attention to the mechanics. Otherwise, you will die, even as a high level. Because you think, oh, he's only got 3 million health. It's not that big of a deal. But it's not what you do, it's how you do it. So you can do, like, lots of damage to him, uh, but then once he turns on his reflect, you're doing lots of damage to yourself. And of course he's resisting the Horn of Gondor because he's a jackass like that. You're making dinner for your kid and you? Nice, you nice. We just kite. We. We. Ow! Rude. Hey, wakey, wakey! How long is that sun for? So one, actually, one thing I do like about WoW is it tells me how long my stuns are. Like, how long are you stunned for? I don't know. Uh, and I agree with the folks on the forums and in the community who say that uh, champion self heals suck. I mean, seriously. I mean, bracing heal is one of my main. You know, it, it's nice, but eighteen thousand morale when I have eight one hundred and eighty five thousand kind of stinks. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't do that. Punch me in the face? Rude. The man racial heals awful, yeah. But that's a racial. I honestly don't want racials to be that good. Because otherwise people would just... It's kind of like runekeepers were so good that everybody stacked runekeepers in their uh, raids for the longest. And then Standing Stone's like, uh, yeah, this is unbalanced. So they nerfed runekeepers. And now nobody wants them in the raids in as much quantity as before. And, like, other people now have raid spots. <clears throat> okay, on target. 
Untarget, run away, untarget. So the trick here is, um, at least from my understanding on this guy, is when he's got his green reflect shield up, you have to stop attacking, and you have to stop auto-attacking. So you take him off target focus. Hi, Allegiance. Is it click on the... Damns. What are you doing? I must protect myself. Safety. Well, your shield didn't last very long that time, did it? Hi, kitty. There we go. Nice. Meow. Yeah, for a second there you thought you were sent. No, I misclicked on some dude outside the room. Oh. Hi. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? Oh, so it looks like. <clears throat> I'm actually going to need to do inventory management during the instance. Probably going to wind up throwing some of this stuff away. Or I can ship it to all. Hi. Hello. Look at this kitty. Look at this kitty. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is what I get to watch. I get to watch a kitty! <sighs> Ouch. <sighs> Alrighty. Let's do this. Let's mail the things. Away! Away with you! <clears throat> All right. Who gets them? We'll send them to my hunter. I don't think her bags are full. Doesn't matter if they are or are not. Well met. Ah! Raiders from a pool of Felgar! <clears throat> wave, wave, wave them off. Wave off. Wave off. How you doing? What you doing? What are you doing? What kind of trouble you guys in? How was your stream? Gumps gang. Hey, Gumps. Did you see that I, uh... Dinged the guild and DDO twice over the last weekend because guild renown. Uh, I dropped a couple of uh, sagas on the guild and uh, put the uh, amenities in. So now we've got the the collegium of the twelve and the proving grounds. 
All right, got that, got that, got that, got that. I don't even know why I'm sending those, because those will stack. I shouldn't send those, because they'll just get more of them anyway, so I might as well leave them so they'll stack. Um, let's try this again. Let's set the things that won't stack. It's like, well, why don't you just throw away the gear? Because you can sell it for coin. Alright, those will stack. That cannot be sent because it's bound, isn't it? Yeah. It's bound. But that isn't. That isn't. That isn't. How are you all? Read much of the epilogue? Oh my god, the epilogue! So, um, do you have the title at the end? I'm not gonna say what it is. Because, you know. Those will stack. That one will not. <sighs> But you are indeed correct. Some amazing. He stopped at the choice to del Ooh, the choice to, to which of the three. Uh, I chose um, the obvious controversial choice. I mean, the other two choices are like, yeah, those can work out. But the thing, the fun thing is, the third choice wasn't even on the wiki. In fact, uh, I'm the one who submitted the stuff for the wiki for that. To find out what happened, and what, honestly, it was the best choice. <clears throat> In my opinion, but you know, do what you feel is appropriate. All right, cleared some more bag space. So at this point, has anybody actually seen Ponton? It is unfortunately possible that Ponton uh, is not feeling well tonight. Or, quite frankly, he could, could have forgotten, you know, shit happens. No, no, no blame here. However, let me go check the wiki real quick. To the wiki! To find out what other bosses I need to look at. Because I think I need to kill the blind one to move forward. Uh, Dar Nugabood. So, I beat up Lag and Rung. I'm at the crossroads. I killed Flagget. I have not killed Zoluga or Istum. Uh, the blind one mechanics requires two or more players. Err. So, I don't think I can actually go further. Um, unless I'm missing something. Okay, so once everything is dead, you'll see three paths to proceed along. Take the left path. Well, I didn't do that one. So let us go back to the path. Um, so I think I've been down the right-hand side to um, flag it and roasted him. So I still need to do the left-hand path to Zaluga and possibly Istum. Been a while. It has been a while. I haven't actually run this since, um, I think I was farming for Philocool stuff. Okay, so we've been down that way. We haven't gone this way. This is the way to Zoluga. No, I haven't been there yet. <clears throat> Oh, hi, guys. I'm gonna kick the funeral first if you don't mind. Hi, 
Hey guys, what you doing? Oh no, I'm silenced. What am I supposed to do? Good thing I play a champion. Silencing isn't that big of a deal. Uh, one thing I did notice, I was uh, running around with Corey during Exploring All of the Rings on Tuesday. We were up in Angmar, and my Mac, well, my 120 uh, Minstrel, uh, anywhere near the lesser Kool Aid, was having some issues. healing people because she kept getting silenced. It was a pain in the butt. Uh, and she, the only reason she was healing is because we had a level 50 with us who kept aggroing like all of the things so I would just nuke them. If I... Yeah, because we were in Angmar so we, you know, as, you know, Professor Cory likes to go wandering around like, squirrel! That kind of deal. Um, we were mostly max or high level characters, so mostly Angmarim, you know, the. Because we were in uh, Imlad Balkorth, the, the city of the undead. Or the dead, whatever. And, yeah. Well, one of our level 50s kept aggroing everybody, so I was standing around trying to keep her healed and whatnot. And. Yeah. But being too close to those puddles, you kept getting freaking silenced. Okay, Sholuga. Hi. You will not stop the mistress's plan. Oh, Don't you think? I'll stop you. Mistress, lend me your courage. Oh, wait. Let's, let's stop hitting her. Yeah, I'm doing damage to you with your little shield. So I think this is different than the Flogget fight. I'm fairly sure it is. This one is- this fight is so much like just stand here and kill it. This is kind of like how I expect like most raid fights are if you're, you know, in other games and you're like stupidly over leveled. You just stand here and, you know, just do that and they fall over go boom. So Lodra is interesting in that they do have the option like a lot of these it's like, well, you're super over leveled, but guess what? You still can't do it. <coughs> Alright. I got a greater elf stone of hand. Get the small star of the crystal. I got the dinosaur, which are that's the necklace.
That's a nice little starlit crystal. Yeah. Uh, where are you supposed to get gloves out of here? Apparently not. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Oh, you gotta loot the body. Then you get a pair of gloves. Except, you know, I don't think that's what they were talking about. Get an axe. I've got a staff. Which is like a big stinking stick. And then you get a pair of gloves. Okay. So, I didn't actually go loot Flaggit. I should go back to Flaggit and loot his corpse. Oops, got too close. Yes, yeah, a little bit too close. Hi, guys. <clears throat> you're supposed to be able to uh, there's another boss you're supposed to be able to fight Not that way. Not that way. We'll figure it out. But first, we're going to go back to flag it and loot his corpse because I think I missed something. Yeah, that's the way we came in. In that hallway. So, because this is a Lotro stream, what do y'all have for supper tonight? Or if you haven't had your supper yet, what are you planning on having for supper tonight? Well, I don't see his corpse there anymore. I like the light dappling on the floor though. That's that's a pretty cool effect. I don't have any idea where it's coming from because there's like no sources of water. It must be coming from these things somehow. I don't know. It's like eerie lighting. Killin will have deviled egg sandwiches. That sounds good. I kill him. Cooked, clicked one too many times, uh, and four four pounds of fresh ground beef showed up at your door. Well, that sounds like a tasty mistake. Hi, Fifi. What are you doing, cat? He is made of warm. Alright. Well, let's get back out of here. Where's the other guy? I always forget there's like a turn off that y if you miss it, then you can't go any further to toward that next guy. It's right down here.
Dead funerals aren't much fun. Ran over a shovel head on the freeway on the way to work. Oh. Yeah. And for me, for that to happen, I'd be freaking out because I just had my car looked at. Well, I didn't have it looked at like anything was wrong with it. But I had the 30k uh, maintenance done on it. And I'm like, I just spent $500 on this thing. I don't want to spend any more. Oh. I'm out of room, kids. I'm out of room. Let's kill the fumeral. Let's kill the fumeral. Fumerals are kind of weird to me. I mean, they're. Honestly, they're kind of like tits that are spewing some seriously nasty shit. No, actually, no, they're not like tits. They're, they're like butts. They're like rectums and anuses. Spewing out nothing but garbage. It's a giant hemorrhoid on the face of the planet. I mean, the fire fumaroles are kind of cool because uh, I am a little bit of a fan of volcanism, the study of, you know, volcanoes. <clears throat> but, wow, that was belated. <clears throat> <clears throat> but the fumaroles that spew, like, poison, uh-uh. <clears throat> Just an A-no, kids. Alright, Globsnagas, hello! Watch all the yellow... All the yellow floaty text. Green goopy ones are gnarly. Like, gnarly, dude. Oh, I am honored with a white lady! I get a new title! Oh, I'm now kindred with a Galathrim! <gasps> nice. I am the kindreds. I get 20 Lotro points. Eh. What do I get? Because, you know, you get kindred with the elves of Rivendell and you can get some... Oh, I can buy the horse. So, Grody to the backs like a gag me with a spoon. Alright. My bags are full. Um... There's only gear in here, which is fine. Now this gear is actually going to be useful for me. But you know me, I gotta go see, does any of it look cool? I think I have that great sword in my uh, wardrobe already. I need to clean out my wardrobe, honestly. Um, so here's Eastum. Uh, let me look real quick to see if there's any special things. Go by halfway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Eastrum is the most difficult of the three, but still easier than the troll, so don't get too worried. Uh, tank and Spank. Uh, he'll do a whirlwind. It will damage everyone, toss everyone around the room. He'll drop acid puddles. Don't stand in the puddles. Well, duh. Okay, so basically the big, the, the hardest part is the four crawlers, and I just drop uh, AoE on them, and life is good. Okay. Tank and spike. Welcome. You will all know the mistress's gift very shortly. The mistress's gift. Hey, there's Pontin! I was waiting for you. Stay out of the puddles. Rude. You are too strong. Too many! It is 
good. I am here to stop you. Oh, sure. I got punted. What is this? The mistress ordered me not to fail. Death to all. Ah. Yeah, Punton, whenever you're ready, I'll invite you. Let me finish this fight here first. Um, I haven't attacked the blind one yet, and this is the last one of the lesser bosses. Gotcha. Give me just a second. Let me finish this. Finish him! Toast! Now you'll get even more loot that I can't carry. Okay. Let me do a quick thingamajigger. Let me invite Pont and Alt. Zing. And let me ship some crap off to uh, my hunter. This is where being a VIP is super important and super cool because you can just ship crap off to your alts. Alright, we're sending this and this and this and this. Task items, because task items, why not? I will send those. That. And that. One more. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. There we go. Loot them. Let's get all of these looted. These all. And send some more crap out to carry on up. Fifi, what is your damn problem? Oh, it's a unique item. Nice. Meow. Meow. Hi. Thief? What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, also, I did get... The lore master staff. Hi. What is your problem, cat? Even though these can and will stack, I can still ship them out. At least get the spaces reclaimed for now. Uh, we'll send that one. There we go. Got some space cleared. Two more bosses to go. Look at the kitty! Look at the kitty! Oh! Yeah, I've beat this raid, uh, well, I've beaten up to the blind one. The blind one is as far as I think I've been able to get on this character, so... Um, the blind one and the mistress, the last two bosses, are the ones we need to finish the party, so... Uh, Ponton. <laughs> Master Brago would be so proud of you. <laughs> you let your cat hear Thiefy's meow, and now she gave you such a look. Is, is it look like, how dare you listen to other cats? Or it's like, ooh, what's that? You're such a butthead. Alright, let me remember how to get out of here. 
Um, I think it's on this way. I think. Here we go. Reach the exit. And this is, should be clear all the way up to the blind one, so. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I forget how to do this fight, so. <clears throat> It'll be fun. All I remember is don't go in there. Okay. I don't know. YOLO. I'm just gonna stand here and wail on him. Deep into our lair, the mistress will be most displeased if I allow you any further. Yeah, she can kiss my ass. No! We fight! I got the yellow eye of doom and I got a red eye. I probably should have, like... Plankton, how do you have such crap gear on you? You're like... Uh, this is Dar Nargabud. This is a Moria instance. Whoa. I don't know. Did I get mezzed? I think I did. There we go. Thank you. Oh no. And I'm not on the high up. I can't res you. Shadow. Oh, there you are. Plantain's alive again. You're absorbing. Absorbing all of the things. I need my hope token because I forgot. Holy crap. Put this on. You're both absorbing all this shit. Holy crap, it was. Cleave. Can't do that. He's not taking any damage. Gotta kill these guys. At least they accept the stun. That's nice. Um, uh, Stegger, you know, you wouldn't be able to link, but you can look it up on the, uh... Oh, there's three of them now. Hi, guys. Let's get out of here. Come on. Yeah, it's no good. Huh. 
So, Ponton, I'm a little bit confused how you have 68,000 uh, morale on a level 117. I'm very confused, but that's okay. Alright, retreat! Yiki came in at a bad time. Uh, I don't know. Um, log in on... Um, if you're on Crick Hollow, say log in and alt and come join us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at Crick. Oh no! You need to come play at Crick Hollow with the rest of us, dude. Yes, you do. Alright. Gotta figure this one out. It's gotta be a way. I think part of the problem, uh, Ponton's guardian got mezzed and died before I could get him unmezzed. I'm sorry. Where am I? Where am I going? Where am I going? Getting myself lost. But that's okay. We're always lost. All right, left side, right side, going down the middle. Ark and Honor. Yeah, they chose two A names, so I guess there's that. Up and around you go. Where they stop, nobody knows. All right. Let's try that again. <clears throat> All right, let me go find my hope token. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I've got my food there. I've got my other food there. Actually, I got my better food here. All right, where is the hope token? It's right here. Keep that there. Take that away. All right, let's get some might. And let's have a snack. Alright, let's try this again. Your kill him on Crick Hollow 7 or 10. Yeah, I think that... Yeah, <clears throat> that's not going to work. <laughs> that's okay. You have made it deep into our lair. The mistress will be most displeased if I allow you any further. Fight. Now we fight! Ow! Got punted. Thank you. Marry you. I keep getting the mess. That's no bueno. <clears throat> sakes. Did they use both? Yep, they did. Okay, you're out. I'm out. Come on, you. Come here. Come fight the champion with more morale.
you little puss bucket. There we go. Where are they? Where are they? Yeah, those guys need to get done by a hunter or somebody with... Oh, you little puss bucket. Thank you! I hate those guys. I hate those guys! Oh, hey, fellowship maneuver. That's kind of cool. Where's my damn mouse? Click on it. Why not? Ponton down! Ponton down! Come on, can I do this? Oh, hit the other guy. Can't do a fellowship maneuver when the fellow is toast. Uh, blind one. He is taking damage. Not much, but he's taking some damage. Alright, let's clear some mess out here. Let's hit that. Let's hit that. third one. Of course there's a third one. Oh! 90,000! Aw, oh, you little fucker. You little fucker! Oh, and what really sucks is I could have popped one of these two. Motherfucker. Mm. Uh, it's up to you, Ponton. Do you want to call a third? Or <clears throat> you can try and add Tithis. Okay, I will be more than happy to invite Tithis. I can't recruit while incapacitated. Invite Tithis. Alright. Let's run on back downstairs! Unari has been defeated again. Had I popped one of those other pots, I probably would have had him. Now I'm kicking myself. I'm kicking myself! But thank you for the fine folks in the second breakfast kinship for helping us out here <sighs> and this is a fish shake mm. that sanding stone for making such a toughy it's like why do you have to put it through things you can't really skip but then again that's why they call it a community effort so what's up in the land of yiki and bell tonight huh what you kids up to what have you been doing I am a little bit bummed. It's like, man, I, I could have had him. Could have been a tender. Now, 
Now, here's a question for those who normally raid Yiki, Ponton, folks like that. Um, am I going to need help with the rest of this? I think I, I have to, I'll need help to kill Tharlac in the rift. Okay, Tithis is a warden. Ooh, warden. Nice. Let's go make friends. Made it deep into our lair. The mistress will be most displeased if I allow you any further. I just had a snack right in front of his face. That was amazing. No! We fight! You did T3 earlier? Nice. Yeah, I'm doing the secret. And on my champion, who is having a bit of fun here. A couple of people to aggro him and then get the levers if you choose to do so. Well, you don't actually... Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Let me kill those little putts. There we go. Get out of that, me! Perhaps when my mouse is in the right monitor, where the hell is my mouse? All right, there we go. Jeez, OP. Oh, where's my AOE? I really do need a mouse finder. This monitor is just so damn big. These are the guys. The extra warden. Yeah, hell yeah. Wardens are awesome. Yeah, in your face, buddy! Toast! That was fun. Yay! Here's the remnant of the ancient nameless. found it oh I don't want to go down there just yet I want to go loot the, the loot the thing oh man I hate that fight look at all the fun things uh, I'm gonna greed everything so I don't need any of this crap so if anybody wants to need any of it uh, knock yourselves out and if I recall correctly, we YOLO our way down. We just jumped down here. We Sploosh. It's the lime Kool-Aid. Again. Now, my understanding always was that the blind one was harder to beat than uh, what's-her-face, but we'll see. Kill him. I'll see you later. I'm glad you got to see a thiefy kitty. Oh, this wretch. Ugh. The ads are just a pain. Yeah, I know. All right. <clears throat> Ooh. 
The mistress is harder to solo. Yeah, because of the ads. But. <clears throat> yeah, three of us. I'll kill this one. Come here. Hi. Come play with a nice friendly champion. Come on, you. I'll fight you with my bare hands! There's one down. Two down. Three down. Who dares come into my lair? Me! Who dares take away my children? You come here? And you wish to destroy that which you do not understand. <clears throat> well, of course. Your ignorance will be your final undoing. Ow. Oh, those things are uh, absorbing. Yeah, come follow me. Oh, reflective fungals. Oh my god, really? Come on, follow me. Come on, hang out over here. We're gonna hang out over here, come on. Hi. No, no. Here, I'll just stand here and hit her in the face. Don't I have a thing on me? I do. Oh, punting down. I'm going down too. Why you don't drop AOEs on these guys? Well, that wasn't fun. I just run all the way back in, kids. I know you can be very embarrassed for me. Be very embarrassed. <laughs> ah, I could feel the the embarrassment. He was going like this. I was like, oh, she's, she didn't just hit that AOE. What are you doing? Don't shing shing in there. <clears throat> I'm sure Bloodborne was like, oh my god, she's the worst champion ever. I can hear it from across the river, but CC is your friend. It is your friend. Wait, did somebody not loot the loot box? I can't loot it. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, nothing I can take. Eh, I thought so. Sploosh. Ponton's alive! Ponton's alive!
At least no mount or transmog farming in Lotro. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Darkness, aid me. Damn. Get the life out of me. Oh, I'm stuck outside. <clears throat> How we doing in there? Can I click on her? You see the grunts. I think it's the same grunt. Well, there's a lot of grunts. Impressive. Your thoughts are clear, but you still do not see. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be AOEing me out here. I'm just chilling. Is there anything we can actually do out here to help? Well, it's not like we can cast heals or anything in, in through the door. Not that I have heals to cast. I'm a champion. I can barely heal myself. Oh, the mesmerizers finally got you. Oh, no. Alright, we're going to do a temporary thing. And we're going to move some skills around. We're going to take anything that's an AoE. That's a melee attack. Um, that's a melee attack. Single target attack. Brutal Strikes is also single target. Um, we're going to have to set Raging Blade aside. Brocious Strikes. Um... Merciful Strike, Remorseless. So basically, um, the only AoE I had on here was Raging Blade, and that's the one that nuked us all. I'm so sorry. Alright, I'm going to move Raging Blade. <clears throat> and we'll try this thing again. Hey, Phil. How you doing? You're still not sure if you like WoW, WoW or Lotro's way of handling all this is best. In Lotro, the challenge remains much more. And this, at the same time, Lotro's not a gear-focused game like WoW, transmog-wise. Yeah. Um, if there were some really good transmogs uh, in raids, I'd be a little bit more salty about all of this. But since there really aren't a lot of good raid-related transmogs, um, then I wouldn't worry too much about it. Can you summon... Well, no. Um, though I do kind of wonder, um, for those who, pardon me, play Guardians, could Tithus have not in, sent an acorn to Unari and gotten him summoned in or something? Does that Could that work in a raid situation? Got a healer? Um, no.
but only a landscape. That's what I thought. Because, you know, that would make sense. On the other hand, my wardrobe in Lojo is already ridiculous. That said, kill this bitch! Since we're on my personal channel, we can say that. If this were on the official, I'd say, st well, you'd get an automatically timed up. I move out for that. Alright. Because I think we should be able to beat this. Let me go read up on the tactics again. It's been so long. Okay. So, blind one done. Uh, <clears throat> if you can kill the blind one, you will kill the mistress. The difficulty is the okay on that night. Let's be off. Blah, blah, blah. First phase, world eaters surrounding her. You gotta take these down before she activates. Uh, they will cross heal each other if close enough. Otherwise, they're identical. Okay. Have a guardian and a mistral pair. Occupy the two on the right. Have a captain tank the one in the back left. Champion tanks and raid burns down the front left one. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, from half full health to half health, the fight is really quite boring. The mistress has a dot aura, will do increasing damage as the fight wears on to anyone near her. Also, the range expands as the fight goes on. She spawns a little closet, run around it as if in rage and whack people. They also add buffs to the mistress if enough of them are alive. They can build with one application of any form of CC. Uh, the fungal spores will reflect anything that isn't a CC, so be careful with AoEs. Thank you. Other than that, heal and tank and spank. Okay, so we need something with a CC. Take a look and see what I got. Because I'm basically running in there and killing all the things. Um, I don't think hamstring is a CC though. It's just a, an annoyance. We don't have anything. Like if we set, a, if we had a hunter to drop a trap down, it'd be like pff, done. Looks like we're going again. Maybe? Hello. I'm gonna go take this guy over here. Come with me. Come with me. Alright. Keep them away from each other. They do cross heal. like a deep buff around her so you, you gotta watch out for that
Okay, that is... that's moving. She's not taking any damage right now. We need to kill those ads. We need something that can CC them, because they, they'll die to a single CC. And if I hit that, that's an AoE, so... Anybody got a hunter? Now she's starting to take some damage. Not much. Come on. Pay attention to the champion. Here's on Arkansas. Kill the spores and remove the corruptions. Yeah, the problem is somebody's got to kill the spores. Yeah, if I drop an AOE, uh, it's just going to reflect back on me. Well, uh, we'll, we'll try and see what happens. Uh. See, they all absorbed it, but it actually killed most of them. What the hell? Content, don't die! There you go. Hi. Got that one out of the way. Alright, I'm gonna drop a raging blade on these guys. So, I would probably say, ouch, thank you for punting me to the moon. Why do you. I can get all the guys on me. Rude. All right. Hi guys. Hey. That passed a rough one. Can you heal yourself, Fontaine? 
Hit you with a horn. Come on! Die! Oh. Thank you! Thank you so much. Screw you guys. Come on. 100k, 70k, you're going down! Good job. Good job. Well done. Awesome sauce. You are done. Whew. All right. So we got a strong box. We got a remnant of the Ancient Nameless whispers to you in a language you do not understand. Oh, whoo, that was fun. So uh, the next thing is the first and second boss of the Dark Delvings. I actually don't think I've ever been in the Dark Delvings. So that will be fun. <clears throat> Egg of the Mistress? Oh, man. I'm going to be good. We're going to greed on everything. I don't have enough room for all of that crap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we have mail for. Mail call! Kiriana. All right. How much crap am I holding? I got Lojo points! Woohoo! Oh, wow, that was interesting. All right, let's nail some of this crap and some of that crap and some of this crap, this crap. That should be enough. There we go. Give me my loot. Give me my loot. Oh man, look at all those things. So I need to send more stuff. To <laughs> okay. Um, we'll send the starlets. I might as well send these. I think she's maxed out on rep, but I don't recall. Come on, you. All right. There we go. You must confirm the binding. Oh. Oh, I already have one. Wait. How did I already get one? Oh. How do I do that? It's magic. 
I guess. All right. Um. Where'd the thing go? Oh, it was a token. So it should have popped in here. The house item. I don't think I want it though. Okay, so I can't loot any more of those because I already have a set. So. Oh well. I don't worry about it. So there we go. Nothing to loot there. Whoo! <laughs> The mistress was standing stone's way of giving old Durin's Bane a flirt. Well, you never know. Well, let me get out of here. Wait, wasn't there? No, it's just I, I guess somebody else got the the uh, housing item. Yeah, it's what it is. All right, let's leave instance. Not doing that again anytime soon. She's the mistress of pestilence. Actually, she kind of reminded me of the stage four guild navigators from uh, Dune. Uh, the David Lynch Dune movie. Wait. You, you see Captain America? I see Captain America. Man, that was actually a good, uh, good mog, uh, good mog on that one. Okay, um, <laughs> let's How open. Sh you can take these legendary items off my hands. And don't I actually have? I should probably use these boosts. Yes, I should. I wish they stacked, but I understand they pretty much work um, like uh, the XP gems in DDO. Oh, I didn't need that. Put that back in there. Oh, I have no room. There's no room in the inn. Yay, I dinged my wit virtue up a little bit more. Nice. Ding it up a few more hundred here. Let's put that in there. Put these in there. Put these in there. You've had the Captain America? You've had a Wonder Woman? I, I do remember there was a lady who was doing one of the mount. Uh, one of the mount websites. Uh, she went by the name of Supergirl. She, Turns out shadow and the show's present, poison and disease. It's a perfect match. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> Though of course, as you see by Moobot's uh, reminder, um, best best ever for the uh, freebie of the week. Alright, let's sell some stuff. Make a bonin. Make a so, of course, I can't use the boots, but uh, I do want to actually take a look at them. Yeah, we're not keeping those. Uh, SLS, always keep the pots. Uh, I'm not even sure what to do about all these relics, because it's not like I can use them or will use them. Test the drink. I like those, and they're already Arid Blue and Blue, which is really nice. Uh, but I think I already have them in my wardrobe. Uh, shoulders. Somewhere, I might already have them in here. Yep, there they are. Keen shoulder of might. So, I don't need those. Uh, keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. For a game. 
Yeah, gloves are not really. And I already have like a 500 stack of those sitting around. Donna Sewer. Yeah, I probably should actually put my regular necklace back on. Because that resistance rating would have been really nice. Because I don't think you need the necklace. I think that was just a, a first thing. A first stone thing. Okay, this is supposed to be a unique hat. That hat looks dumb! Alright. Sell all, clearing the inventories. Don't forget to repair. I hadn't forgotten to repair, but I do appreciate the warning, the reminder. Uh, does anybody actually want the Second Age Warden's Club? Or the Second Age Hunter's Mace? That I got out of this mess. Because I don't need them. My warden is a 120. And my hunter is 126. Alright. Where is... Vendor, Vendor, Vendor. I'll have to be sure we'll do. Sweet lad. How may I assist you? Sweet lad. Very poncy lady. All right, it is quarter after nine, so let me go look at the dark delvings. I don't think I've actually ever been there before. I don't remember being there before. Oh, the nameless things that shun the light and feed on the darkness. All right, six man. Well, it's a six man instance, so that theoretically would make it easier because this was a 12-man raid that we were just playing in uh, there's a campsite nearby so I know where it is um... Basically, get in the light. Dark Delving is an easy solo. All right. Well, let's uh, let's roll through that happiness. Um. Can I not hit that button on that window? That would be awesome. One right here. Boom, Chicago. Alright, so if it's an easy solo, I will leave you, uh, let you go, Pontin, let you get on with your life and uh, uh, have fun. Do all oh, Or you could just drop on me. Okay. Alright, let's go. Whee! I like the instance finder. In the deepest delvings of Moria dwell nameless things which shun the light and feed on the darkness. The elves of Lorien strive to constrain the vile creatures, but led by the evil Gurvond, they may be too strong to hold back forever. I like the runes flying about. But no, the, the background music kind of sounded like the chant for Sauron in the Mordor soundtrack. I'm like, uh, what? Okay, so that is the exit. Pretty rune stones. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, these guys are cake. It says defeat. Oh, so the challenge is to kick this guy's ass without actually using the rune stones. Alright, 
let me go take a look at the deed. Okay, so you find uh, rune stones. There's four of them. So I already found two. Oh, and they're different kinds. I see. Because now I can put Xing Xing back into play. Put this back here. Put that back there. Get knocked across the landscape. Hi! Get the little slobber from the ceiling to pop down. I'm not sure what they are, but they remind me of that little kid. Um, in... Well, hello. Of the little kid in the beginning of, um, uh, Wind Waker. And I understand this is a cultural thing. Um. Come on, let me move. Or I could just do that. Okay, so these are the four ru the runes that they say that you're not supposed to use. You have gone too far. Have I? Alright. So there's that. Oh, and here's the remnant we were looking for. So first boss and second boss have a remnant. The other ones don't. But you know I've never been here before so I think what we'll do is we'll actually just finish this entire thing. Um, just to see what it looks like. Why not? Void Eater, Doom Speaker. Oh, so there's only three bosses here anyway. So, whatevs. Um... I'm standing in an AOE. Okay, we're ignoring the ruined pedestals. Okay, so this is the second boss. There's a rune stone. Who dares come There's here? a rune stone. There's a dim rune stone. Smell flesh. Food for my sweets. I'm just looking to see what kind of rune stones you got here, buddy. Oh, so this is the second boss. Gotcha. Hi. I think you're smacking yourself in the face when you do that. Oh, you healed yourself. How nice. I'm gonna keep my clobber ready to go just in case he tries to do this heal again.
is like trying to fight as a guardian. Like you're just standing there wailing on things and they're not doing much damage to you. You're just sitting there wailing on things. He's absorbing all my damage at this point. Come on, you. I'm just doing like a tiny amount of damage to him. Like a really small amount. Watching a fight when you're the guardian, it's like, yeah, everybody else doing the damage. I'm just sitting here hitting buttons and a casual health fall. I mean, I like the survivability of a guardian, but I'm not a huge fan of the DPS of things, even when you're playing Redline. Um, but on the other hand, I, I believe Guardian has a specific role in a raid. So they shouldn't be doing as much damage as, say, your champions or your hunters or whatever. Everybody's got a role. Everybody got a role to play. Oh, it's the debuff, that's why. Alright, so what's this dim rune stone over here? Oh, it's one of the ones that you find. Okay, there's the remnant of the ink, the nameless. Actually, let me go pull up that, um, pull up that deed. Not that one. This one. <clears throat> so this wasn't even the boss fight. Um... The end boss in the Dark Devil and Gravon used to have, originally have the coolest voice over ever. Unfortunately, it was changed. Maybe you can find out what happened. Um, probably what happened was they decided to change it. Simple as that. Uh, for example, <clears throat> in uh, DDO, when they launched the Masterminds of Sharn expansion uh, last year. Yeah, last year. Um, what happened was they put some voiceover text to lead uh, people to the new stuff and Cordovan was the one who did the voice for it but it was printed on the screen and then he did the voice reading the you know like the dungeon master voicey kind of thing um and one day I had a character hit level 15 and you're supposed to get the the voiceover I got the text didn't get the voiceover I asked him what happened he's like what happened yeah he didn't know I don't know um it is possible that they misplaced the the stuff. Uh, it's also equally possible that maybe somebody said uh, take that out. Okay, so where were we? More guys to kill. And, of course, my mouse wanted to pop into Discord for some reason. Which is on the other monitor. Okay. Kill this little Darkling. I, I've decided Darklings are one of my least favorite bad guy bombs. Oh, I don't like them. Uh, 
then there were these few destined to go no further. I mean, very, very aristocratic English was, oh man. I don't know. Okay, here's the bad guy. Is that the bad guy? It is the bad guy. Hang on. Before I engage him, let me go see if I can find um, the Runes of the Dark Delvings. Oh, so you can get knocked off of the platform kind of thing. Kitty thief. Okay, so the last one drops after the final boss, so we're good. Let's pet the cat for good luck. Oh, let's pet the cat for good luck. It may not have been a turbine versus SSG sort of thing. Because one thing to bear in mind, turbine was SSG. I, and that's one distinction a lot of people miss is that the dev team is the same, pretty much the same dev team that we had before. The only real difference is who are the corporate masters. And that was WB versus Daybreak. And Daybreak is pretty hands-off. We don't see a lot of their direct influence as to what's going into the game. Hi, kitty. Oh... is for good luck. No, you don't get to curl up and snooze. You can still sit in your chair. Clean off all the cat hair. So basically, um, <clears throat> while he's over here practicing uh, flexing, his, you know, loosening up his wrist here, his arm. Um, <clears throat> basically, you're going to want to stand with your back to a rune. And don't activate the rune if you want the challenge. And uh, then you kick his ass. But if you use the runes, it will help the fight go easier. So, yeah, we'll try it without activating and see what happens. Hi. Wow! Let's kick these guys first. Big boy. Well, apparently I can't move, so it's all good. And looks like I'm gonna die. That was fun. Let's do that again. That's definitely the chant of Sauron. They did change the music in here. Hey, Glar, how you doing, my friend? What's up with you?
Yep, Phil got to say hi to Thief Kitty. Well, that's actually gonna... Oh, I wonder, is it gonna let me back in? Well, this one did. Now, to be fair, I don't actually need this last fight for anything other than just for shits and giggles. And I want to get that ancient runestone. Just winding down? Oh, uh, hanging in there, hanging in there. You know, just soloing ancient fights. Um, the fun thing is, this fight that I'm doing is a level 58 fight. But I'm max level 130 and they just kicked my ass. No transmog... Easy face roll transmog runs in this game, that's for sure. <clears throat> did I open that chest? Yeah, I did. Uh, it wasn't a robotic voice. It was trying to sound all monster voice. Uh, did the original voice actor die? Mm, that's a possibility. I do know that, unfortunately, they didn't do a lot of really good, what I'd call, archive work. To, um... To get this game, you know, to keep track of what was going on in this game, so... It's unfortunate. Okay, so the rune stones are here. See if I can kick this guy's ass. That's why you stay with your back to a rock. Oh man, let me move. Let me move. Actually, let me go kick these guys. Except, I'm kicking this guy. Except! <laughs> I win, but I die. <laughs> I completed the challenge, though. <laughs> that was hilarious. <clears throat> That's why you have your back to the wall. So let's see if I can get back into that room. And get the loot and get the uh, the last rune stone because that would be a little bit of annoying. <sighs> hey, if I'm going to win, I'm going to win with style. <laughs> Fifi, what are you doing? Here. Meow. Get up here. Come on. Come on. What's the matter? tail. Come on. Come on. Come on, CP butt. Come on. Wow. The cat is just yowling because he wants to howl. <clears throat> you go the other way, it's faster? What other way? Oh. This way? Could have gone that way? Oh, yeah. Well, too late for that. Go 
still says hi. I see. He is a beautiful cat. He's also obnoxious, and he weighs a ton. So he's not doesn't weigh as much of a ton as Cordovan's cat, Miss Lizzie, does. She she's huge, but though. Hi. I got your tummy. Alright. So I need to find the other three remnants for the overall point of this exercise. So, we're almost to the end of my time. Got another 20 minutes to go. So, um... The next two remnants are in... Uh, well, the next remnant is in the 16th hall. So, I can try to get that one done before the end of the show. And the other two are actually in the rift. And I've beaten all of the rift up to Tharlac. Oh, my goodness. Nice, long, and cool six-man. Well, then I guess I'm not doing it now. There's our pedestals. So, this is the way past him. Oh, there's two strong boxes. Oh, because I got the challenge and I got uh, the regular one. Nice. But let me get the ancient runestone here real quick. Nice. Finish the deed. And then I get the title, the diviner. Or diviner. Uh, Runekeeper stone of the third age. Piece of crap. Uh... A heavy shield doesn't look like. Oh, that's actually an interesting design. It goes r really well with the uh, with the the head and shoulders. Oh, hey, I got a dagger. Ooh, and it's a BOE, a Numenorean dagger. Wow, I don't think I've seen that design of dagger before. It's kind of cool. Um, and I got a BO. Nope, those are bound. Bound gloves, but they don't look all that awesome. All right, I'll do the usual. Mail shit to your alt. But you know what? I don't need the ring keeper. I'm just going to throw it away anyway because it's a... Yeah, whatever. Picking this up instead. Alrighty. Carving go bad. Uh, cloak. Okay. Interesting. Um, these are about 57. Whatever. Um, yeah. Claim those. Let's see. I'll get rid of the Dawn Rose because I have like a million of them. And we'll take the cloak and sell the cloak. There we go. Alright, cleared that mess out. <clears throat> However, I don't know if I want to start another long... For level 1-3, I guess it's not that long. Okay. <sighs> so, I was actually, after, after, the, after my official stream yesterday... Uh, and I ate supper. Uh, I sat around and was working on uh, Master Agee's uh, artwork for most of the evening. It was, oh, it was so therapeutic and calming and shit. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's leave the instance. Yeah, so we'll leave the instance. And I got it to the point of where I had finished up the, the pencil. Like, the, the new borders and stuff it was actually looking really good but I haven't decided if I like the actual dark inks that we originally had seen like the comic book borders or if I liked the the softer um, borders that I had done last night so I don't know we'll, we'll have to probably ask chat or something all right let's clean Greetings, out friends. the mess How may I be of help? 
You can buy stuff. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep those. Always keep crafting that. Um, I like the shield, but I don't n I don't want the shield in my, w my wardrobe. Uh, again with the cloak. Aquamarine's got a butt ton of those. Alright. Gloves. Not bound. Ooh, a floral earring. I missed that. That'd be pretty, pretty cool for a uh, will class, yeah. And I got the shoulders at some point. The shoulders would have been really nice back then. Vitality, physical rating, vitality, vitality, yeah. Alright. Oh, they look kind of pretty. Alright, you know what we're gonna do, kids. Uh, the dying on them is actually, yeah, it's okay. But I don't know, it really, they don't really, they're interesting, but they're not really cool, I'll have to say. I mean, they could actually work fairly well with this set that I'm wearing now, but, eh. I like the ones I got now. Oh, uh, speaking of the devil, there he is. Hi. How you doing, Aggie? Is it Aggie or Aggie? Aggie, like, you know, alligator? Alright. I cleaned some stuff out of the inventory. Um, a burglar's mace. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Don't need a Runekeeper Satchel. My RK on the server is level 120. <clears throat> AG? So it's a... Wait, wait. Captain America here has his Captain Harold is named Bruce Banner? Oh, man. This is the loss off? AG. Wow. I honestly had no idea that it was a soft G. Well, thank you for uh, edging me, Katie. I, I don't like... It's one of the things that kind of annoys me about uh, a lot of streamers. is like they see somebody's name in chat, right? And instead of taking the time to ask, hey, how do you pronounce your name? Because I don't want to get it wrong. They say, well, I'm just going to call you whatever. I'm like, So, AG. I, I won't remember that because it's not what I thought it would be. And you should have corrected me ages ago. Oh, so it's basically like ages. I think I'll remember that. But to me, it's a respect thing. It's like, how can you not show somebody respect by calling them what they want to be called or the, the actual correct, correct pronunciation of their name? How can I be of service? I, I've never understood why people thought that was okay or cool. It's like, I'll call you XYZ. I'm like, no, no, that's not how that works. All right, let's get these out of here. This will free up some space for sure. Because I forgot to finish getting all of these out of here. Okay. All right. And they're going to my wit, which I don't have many wits. Uh, but it's up to 54, which is really nice. So I could probably spend some more in some of these. I, I probably need to go over that sometime when I'm not on camera. Because uh, I don't want to um, have Chromite cringe about how terrible <laughs> my, my gear is on this character. Alright, let's get the rest of these out of there. It probably would have helped if I'd used this one first. Duh. Idiot. That's why one of my characters... Oh, man. I am an idiot. I am an idiot! But y'all knew that. But hey, at least the 200 Virtue XP one is going to get a boost. Yash! So. Not really worried about it. Well, that's very nice. Is meant to be your initials followed by Roman numerals, but the game wouldn't let you do that. Yeah. 
Hulk smash Middle Earth get Valerian? Well, if Hulk smash Middle Earth would make Middle Earth sink, and then Valerian would rise out of the ocean. Be kind of like a seesaw, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'm being a smartass at this point. All right. Uh, crafting mat. Pot. More pot. Not that kind of pot. This game is rated T for teen. Universal, greater, greater. Those are too universal. That's a greater, but it's bound to me, so. Uh, they won't buy it. They won't do that. Pull this up here. Move that over there. It all makes sense somehow, some way. Okay, gear. I'm going to put this uh, this knife in there that I found. There. Okay. Well, it's actually 10 till 10. We could... I'll throw this in the gear bin. Could go do a little bit of the anniversary. I actually have not been doing anything with the anniversary event this time around because it's kind of like been there, done that. Um, but I could go see if I can get a toast emote or something out of the, the one thing in Bury. And I think the rakes of Kilkaril are performing right now uh, at the Prancing Pony, so we could, uh, if they're still performing, we can go Listen to the tail end of their show. That would be fun. Um, my next stream will be Monday. I probably will continue part of this. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do in the rift. But I might need some help finishing off the Balrog because he's the Balrog. It'll be fun. <clears throat> Worldbreaker Hulk is full of opportunities. Or is it just getting, or is it just getting late? <laughs> My streams are entertaining. I try to be entertaining. Um, I'm probably going to go find... Um, wait, don't we have... Don't we have these? No, no, no. No. Not the vendors. What am I looking for? Ah, they were right over here. Wait. Montour Sandwich? Somebody named their character Sandwich? Oh, it's a Hobbit approved. I approved that shenanigan. Okay. Uh... Sweet-eyed Rondir. Oh, shut up, lady. I don't want to deconstruct. No, I don't want to deconstruct the great sword. I do want you to deconstruct this, 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 that, 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 that. Click it to actually unlock it, Drew. You dumbass. Okay. Watch this. Select all. Zoop. Select all. Zoop. And that's how you clear those out of your inventory. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to Bree. Why? Because Bree is fun. My home. No, Alberg. Where's my home? Why don't I have my actual home skill on here? Because... Because I forgot to put it on my bar. Because as you can see, I don't have travel window up. Travel window is working, but I don't know how to summon travel window. I didn't want that button. Um, it's minimized, so when it minimizes, it goes into like a little icon that looks like a suitcase. But when I was playing the game in 4K, the suitcase went wandering somewhere off into the landscape and so even when I put it back to regular not 4k 
it still got very puzzled. And uh, when the game launches, travel window is up. And I can see the UI. I can pick something. But as soon as I minimize it, I don't know where it went. And I want this guy's hairstyle. I want Galleon's hairstyle. So that would be cool. Anyway, Sapiens ought to be streaming soon. Uh, it's Astroneer night, which means uh, he could... Uh, looks like the rakes are done for the evening. Oh, wait! Wait! Game stop lagging. It's two members of the Mardi Gras party band. So, Kangas is floating around here tonight? Oh. Well, we're not gonna bother him. Wait, why are we talking about new canon? Christopher Tolkien is dead. Well, see, the thing is, Christopher Tolkien... Um, not only having passed, but he had also resigned his position with the estate a couple of years ago before he passed. So therefore, um, he hadn't been in charge of things for a while anyway. Stay a moment. I do know, on the other hand, uh, that Amazon has a position open for a narrative designer on their new MMO. I'm not horribly fussed about the new MMO because from the, the 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 job listing that they had on LinkedIn it seemed like they were emphasizing gameplay far more than keeping it close to the canon I mean there was obviously going to be some some closest to the canon is going to be required but I, I just felt they didn't emphasize it enough to say, okay, we want you to be really true to the canon. Because they're going to want to maximize how much money they make. To be fair, any game studio wants to make enough money to keep going. But when you're backed by Jeff Bezos, the world's first trillionaire. Or just about world's first trillionaire. You kind of shouldn't be hurting for money. And honestly, they could literally afford to make that game. Pay all of the devs. An actual awesome wage. Uh, true story. Most devs don't make a lot of money. Read. Um, yeah, they don't. They they could make that money, and and Bezos could just like you know throw them a couple. He could probably throw them a couple billion and still not worry about it. Um, but the unfortunate reality is there's going to be new canon with whatever Amazon makes. And it's not actually... Hello. Look at Mojo suddenly whipping out the tunes on top of the fountain. The thing is, it's not going to be canon, right? It's not written by John Ronald Rule or Christopher Tolkien, so it's not canon. Even Christopher's stuff doesn't technically count as canon. Um, because while he did write supplementary material and collated what his dad wrote, he, he wasn't creating new stuff. He was just basically trying to knead the bread, as it were, but he didn't uh, put all the, the flour and other ingredients into the bread pan. So, basically, the cook handed him the bread and said, Hey, make this. Uh, I'm still probably going to try the game, uh, because it sounds like it'll be fun if, you know, if Amazon can make it right. Yeah, he's already got it. But, I mean, that's really the big question. It's really early days. It's very nebulous as to, you know, where they are in the stage. However, the fact that they're hiring a narrative designer, typically you don't do that on a project of that scale until probably about three quarters of the way through, on the other hand. Uh, most of the rumblings I've heard within the industry seem to indicate that the game is at least a couple of years out of public view. And is it going to nuke Lotro? Nah. 
It's, it's definitely not going to be a case where, like, Star Wars Galaxies and Star Wars The Old Republic, uh, there was a clear definitive case to be made for um, Lucasfilm deciding not to renew the contract with SOE, therefore SWG had to shut down, so it could make way for Star Wars The Old Republic. But these days, um, Standing Stone is pretty much... I mean, from all I've heard, How can I be yeah, everything you've ever heard Cordovan talk about on his stream is like, you know what? Um, our other game is not the only D&D &D MMO out there, but I, I still have to admit there, there's probably going to be some concern simply because there's a lot of people over the years of Lotro who hate the way Lotro does business. Simple as that. Um, there's a lot of people who don't like Lotro systems. Hey, I hate allies. Um... But I think the folks who are like the lore purists, I think for the most part, they're pretty happy with Lotro and they're going to keep playing it. Will I play the new game? Sure, why not? Um, if I can be a, an awesome elf, that'll be awesome. Yeah, so basically, it, you can't consider this game to be canon. You can't consider that game to be canon. Um, I think the main concern Standing Stone would have would be if Amazon tried to yank some of the storylines or some of the, the lore staff. Like, I don't think they would be allowed to do that, actually, uh, to actually poach. Like, let's say they poach Jeff Libby, Made of Lions. That would be a sore loss to the dev team. On the other hand, I don't see him moving to California because you have to move to Irvine for that, and that's fucking expensive. Um, <clears throat> but it's going to be an adaptation. It's it's an equal adaptation as Lotro is. It's an equal adaptation with the Ralph Bakshi movies, the Peter Jackson movies. They're all an adaptation of the original words. So in that regard, I'm not too fussed about it. As long as I think they don't go out into the left field like the Shadow of Mordor game did, um, it's the Assassin's Creed style of gameplay, no big deal. Um, saying she loved could be a sexy woman, again, not that big of a deal. If you could make that argument with the canon, but come on. Seriously? Because she loved wasn't a spider. She was a spirit embodied as a spider. Or she was a spirit in the form of a spider, right? So she really wasn't a spider spider, so whatever. <clears throat> Made of Lines is a great... Yeah, Made of Lines is really awesome. Uh, I He's always one of my favorite people to get to talk to for a few moments at Standing Stone. And I was actually a little bit sad I didn't get to talk to him this time around because there are folks with us who had never been there before. So I, of course, was like, you know what? I'll, I'll let these folks have their time with the devs because... I've talked to them. Oh my god! Um, you wouldn't have to live in Irvine? True. Luisu! Welcome to the ranks of the Gallo Friends. Um, for example, um, one of my friends who used to work at Blizzard lived about an hour and a half away. Um, and this is how bad Blizzard pays their people. Uh, he used to write the patch notes for WoW for several years. And when he had 12-year tenure at Blizzard, I quoted my hourly wage at the cable company for 12 years tenure because we had pretty much the same tenure with our companies. And just the hourly wage, before you take into account taxes, cost of living, all the other bullshit, I was making more money than he was. Now, add to that the cost of living and all the other bullshit, the exorbitant rents in Irvine. Yeah, he had to live with his parents. And now he lives in North Carolina working for Ubi. So, <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of people wanted to live in Irvine because it's close to work, but then they realize, and... In Southern California, living close to work is important because traffic is stupid. So, that is the truth. All right, what are we doing here? <clears throat> well, um, let's see. 
I should send you off on a raid. Sapiens is not live yet. Uh, Wayward is on the official Lotro channel. Let's see. Where should I send you? I think the only thing uh, Standing Stone really has to worry about is whether or not um, Middle Earth Enterprises just decides one year not to renew their, their license. We don't know anything about that. We were told as long as the game is making money, we don't have to worry. So we don't know anything about the terms of the license. And quite frankly, I don't want to know the terms of the license. Because I want to enjoy the game as if it's going to last forever with no impending sense of doom. Hmm. Well. We've got... Pulu's doing ESO. Too Old the to Game is doing Lotro. Big Ed is doing Lotro. Uh, Big Ed is running with Rem and... No. I'm not sending you over there. Uh, same as... Is... I don't know how light Wayward's going to run tonight, because she was supposed to start at 8 and run till God knows when. Uh, but she started early because she's got a rocket launch tomorrow. You know, let's go, let's go raid Wayward on the official, because why the hell not? Eh. Let's go do that. And I will see you on Monday right here. Uh, I will probably be playing some more of this story. Uh, I will probably make an attempt on the rift uh, tomorrow. However, I also have artwork to do. So it's very possible I might just spend my afternoon uh, doing artwork. Or I might work on it some more tonight because in about two hours, the BBB is playing at the Prince and Pony over on Langeval. So you should all show up and drop the trout. Because that's what you do. <clears throat> Unless you're too fine fine for us. And you think that, you know, people are going to go to hell for, you know, being immoral and shit like that. And this is me. I don't care. It's fun time. So, I will see you then. Uh, one way or the other. Follow, follow this channel if you want to know when I go live. I stream on the official Lotra channel Fridays around 3 o'clock. Depending on when Professor Corey has done streaming. So, there we go. So be good, and if you can't be good, be good at it, and uh, I will see you next time.